Hello friends, this video on laws of motion part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched the videos from part 1 to part 6 before going ahead with part 7. Now that we have seen Newton's first law and Newton's second law, we will look at certain problems. Let us look at the first problem. A car of mass 2 into 10 to the power 3 kgs traveling at 36 km per hour on a horizontal road is brought to rest in a distance of 50 meters by the action of brakes and frictional forces. Calculate the average stopping force, the time taken to stop the car. So let us first understand the question. We have a car whose mass is 2 into 10 to the power 3 kgs. The car is moving with a velocity of 36 kilometers per hour. Now let us try solving the question. So we are given the mass of the car that is m is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 3 kgs. Right? Now it says that it is traveling at a speed of 36 km per hour. That means the initial velocity of the car which we denote by u is given as 36 km per hour. Now since we might have confusions later because of different units, let us convert it into meter per second. So 36 km per hour, we will convert it into meter per second. So this will come out to be 10 meter per second. So this is the initial velocity of the car. It is brought to rest in a distance of 50 meters that means the car started moving with a velocity of suppose this is the car it started moving it is moving with a velocity of u after some time it comes to rest it comes to rest means the final velocity is equal to zero so we have the final velocity equal to zero now it traveled a distance of 50 meters after which it came to rest that means the distance which it traveled is equal to 50 meters. What does the question asks us to calculate? It asks us to calculate the average stopping force. That means how much force do you need to stop the car? So you have to calculate the force. Now just see, you have mass and you have to calculate force. So what do you need? Just recall Newton's second law. Newton's second law says force is equal to mass into acceleration you know mass, you have to calculate force, so you must know what is the acceleration. So just think of the kinematic equations which we studied in the last chapter. From there, we can very easily calculate the acceleration given these three values. From third kinematic equation, just remember the third kinematic equation, which is V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. Correct? Here we know V is equal to 0. So this is 0. U is equal to 10 square plus 2 A S. S is 50. So from this you can calculate this as 100 plus 100 A. So this comes out to be A is equal to minus 100 by Hundred, So it comes out to be minus 1 meter per second square. So this is the value of acceleration. So we, you found acceleration here. Now you have to calculate the average stopping force. So the average stopping force would be, let me continue it here. The average stopping force would be equal to mass into acceleration. Now what is the mass? Mass is 2 into 10 to the power 3 into acceleration. We are considering the magnitude alone because negative sign just indicates the sign, the direction of acceleration. So negative sign just says that the acceleration will be in the opposite direction. So 2 into 10 to the power 3, this much Newton. So this would be the average stopping force that you need to stop the car. So this would be the solution of the first part. Now in the second part, you are asked, what is the time taken to stop the car? That means, 
after how much time here you saw that the car was moving with velocity u it came to stop after traveling a distance of 50 meters now the question asks how much time after how much time the car stopped that is after how much time it reached the velocity v is equal to 0 so here again we will use the first kinematic equation the first kinematic equation says v is equal to u plus at or we can write v is equal to 0 u is equal to 10 meter per second a is equal to minus 1 and t we have to calculate so we can say 0 is equal to 10 minus t or t is equal to 10 seconds that means after a time period of 10 seconds the car will come to rest so this is the time which is taken by the car to stop so what did we basically do all we need to do is we need to remember the kinematic equations the first equation v is equal to u plus at the second equation s is equal to ut plus half at square and the third equation v square is equal to u square plus 2as Using these three equations, we can get any of the values which is unknown and then we can apply the Newton's laws as and when required as per the problem. So I hope the problem is clear to you now. So we will go ahead to the next problem. The next problem says the velocity of a body of mass 100 kg changes from 30 meter per second to 10 meters per second in 5 seconds due to the application of a force. Calculate the initial momentum of the body, the final momentum of the body and the force applied. So here the question says that we have a body of mass 100 kg. The velocity of the body initially was 30 meter per second. That means we will just keep writing whatever is given in the question. Mass of the body is equal to 100 kg. The body is moving with a velocity 30 meter per second. But the velocity changes from 30 to 10. That means the final velocity is equal to 10 meter per second. And in how much time the change occurs? 5 seconds. That means t is equal to 5 seconds. Now the question asks to calculate the initial momentum. What would be the initial momentum? Momentum is always equal to mass into velocity. Let us suppose initial momentum is equal to mass into velocity. Mass into velocity, if it is initial momentum, it has to be initial velocity. So mass is 100 kg, initial velocity is 30 meter per second. So this would be 3000 kg meter per second. The second part asks to calculate the final momentum. Now the final momentum, let us denote it by Pf, is equal to mass into the final velocity. So mass is 100 and final velocity is 10. So it will be 1000 kg meter per second. And the third question asks about the force applied. Now what will be the force applied? Force applied is mass into acceleration according to Newton's second law. But acceleration is not given in the question. So we will apply the kinematic equation of motion to find the acceleration. So from kinematic equation, that is the kind of first kinematic equation, we know V is equal to U plus AT or A is equal to V minus U by T. So V is equal to 10, U is equal to 30 and T is equal to 5. So we find minus 4 meter per second square. This is the value of acceleration. Now using this we find the value of force that is equal to mass into acceleration. So what is the mass? Mass is 100 kgs and acceleration is equal to 4. We just ignore the sign because that will just denote the direction of force. If you want, you can just put it. That is not a problem. So this will just indicate that the force acts in the opposite direction of the movement of the body. If the body is moving in right, the force is acting on left. So the magnitude of the force comes out to be 400 newtons.
The third problem says the only force acting on a 5 kg object has components Fx is equal to 15 Newton and Fy is equal to 25 Newton. Find the acceleration of the object. As I already told you that force being a vector quantity, so as force is a vector quantity, so F can be represented as Fx i cap plus Fy j cap. Correct? Therefore, the magnitude of force that is F would be equal to root over Fx square plus Fy square. Now, in this question, we are already given that M, that is mass of the object is equal to 5 kg, Fx is equal to 15 newtons and Fy is equal to 25 newtons. Therefore, using the values of Fx and Fy, we can calculate the value of F. So, the value of F is root over 15 square plus 25 square. So, this comes out to be root over 225 plus 625, which is equal to root over 850. So, let us suppose this is the value of force. Now, the question asks us to calculate acceleration. Using second law, we know that force is equal to mass into acceleration. Therefore, acceleration would be equal to force by mass. That is equal to root over 850 divided by 5. So, this comes out to be 5 root 34 divided by 5. That is equal to root over 34 meter per second square. And the value turns out to be 5.83 meter per second square. So this is the acceleration for this object. So I hope it is now clear how to solve some basic problems based on Newton's first and second law. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.